Uh, what is good guys so today's gonna be the first video first real video on the moto van build it's basically right earlier now, this we're week cleaning everything. yeah we're degreasing and cleaning all of this before we start the floor but earlier this week i took out all the panels and uh the floor and everything and yeah right now we're just degreasing everything and then we went to home depot this morning to get the uh one by fours for the make the platform and then we also got the plywood as well so we're gonna hopefully get the floor built today and we already got a futon built and then gonna test fit the bikes as well so dogs are just hanging out with us we'll uh get to you guys when we start getting into it and we'll it. show you guys um if the futon fits or not we're gonna test fit it if not we may have to make some adjustments to make it fit the bikes in too just to see how everything is gonna fit before we start building everything yeah. i'm just letting all this sink but yeah, we'll catch you guys uh, in a bit. Guys, so we just mopped the whole van. Right now we're pressure washing it out. And then after that, we're going to give it one more final like scrub down. And then should be good to start working on the floor. And we'll show you guys that. I'm also going to bring my ramp out here and test fit my bike. So we'll catch you guys here in a bit. Just want to give you guys a little update. All right, guys, so a little update. After getting it all cleaned out, right now I'm basically just mounting these uh, one by fours. I'm gonna mount four across here, and then probably gonna do something different up in the area where the futon's gonna sit, but then I'm also gonna put support beams across here through these. And then yeah, basically gonna mount all those down, put support beams through it, put some crack sealer all under it, and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna do sound dentoning on the floor yet, but definitely I'm on the walls and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to you guys uh, after I get all these mounted up. All right, what's well, good y'all? So finally got the platform all screwed down and together, except this side right here, we're, we gotta finish that up. But basically what we're gonna do now is we got the uh, gaps and crack sealer, the spray foam. We're going to go through and spray under all this wood right here and basically fill in all these gaps. And then after that, we're going to be drilling the plywood, the plywood into this. I'm just waiting on that because I don't want to drill it in until I get the bike mounts and sure, make sure what I'm going to do with that. But we'll get to you guys when we're doing the spray foam. Uh, what is up, guys? So it's actually probably about like three or four days later from the last clip i went ahead and did spray foam through all the panels all underneath this i'm just getting ready to lay this board and mount it before i go to work because i was going to put some wood glue down and then screw it when i get back from work because it's a uh, friday right now and hoping to f completely finish the floor this weekend so yeah Basically, this is where we're at right now. I just filled in all these little gaps with spray foam. And I finished uh, mounting up to here where the futon area is going to be. I need to get more 1x4 so I can finish these little side areas. And then uh, another, probably another sheet of plywood just because I'm going to have to make some cuts to fill in all these. And then haven't decided what i'm doing for the walls or if i'm building cabinets or whatever but hey guys just a, just a little update before i lay down this plywood but i'll get you guys here in a bit i guess sorry i haven't been filming much but i got an update i uh got most of the flooring in and uh sanded down Got the wheel chuck mounted up too. I was gonna put the flooring in and mount it above, but it'll save me a little extra flooring space. And then I'm probably gonna fill a little extra insulation underneath there. But this is the flooring I'm gonna end up going with. So we're gonna do this and then have decided what colors for the wall and stuff yet. Yeah, just want to give you guys a quick little look and update. Um, 
What's up guys? So this is how much Colby got done of the flooring. I'm now helping him finish the rest. We're just putting some of this putty down for a little extra stick. So let's see if that piece fits. Hey guys, I've been out here this morning. I did like those first layers of tiles and then we're out here hopefully finishing the rest of at least where the bikes sit. Nice. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Yeah, we were doing them this way and now we're doing them sideways. Just to put the wheel we tuck. We have to go around this. So. We were going to mount the flooring under the wheel tuck, but it would probably save a little space. And I'm probably going to do something else. Yeah, I've got to cut some pieces. But yeah, we'll update you guys uh, in a bit. Alright, what's up guys? It's already probably like 90 degrees out. But uh, we got a lot done, but I'm pretty sure we're going to run out of tiles and we're going to need more. So we're going to go ahead and run to Home Depot, get some more. But it's full this... spray foam. Oh yeah, and we got to get some more spray foam. First, to... we're going to the floor and then we're gonna lay down the rest of the tile yeah we already got the extra sheet of plywood we need and the one by fours so yeah we just need to go get some more spray foam and tile but yeah just wanted to show you guys how it looks and we'll catch you guys uh in a bit we gotta take a picture all right guys we just got back from home depot wanted to show you guys basically this is what we've been doing this all we're using is spray foam the gaps and crack sealer to insulate the whole floor just because probably ended up being cheaper than buying foam board. And it's and, not itchy. Yeah, and I don't want to use sound dampening on the floor. I'm going to use it on the wall and on the floor up more towards where we're actually going to be driving. But yeah, just a quick little update. Once we fill all this in and we uh, start laying the plywood, we'll get back to you. Zelda! She just stepped in the wet foam. Did she actually? Yeah. What well, is good, y'all? So we let the insulation dry for about an hour or so after spraying it. And right now we're trimming it down because it's sitting flush on this side, but on this side it's a little high. So uh, Haley's trimming a little bit of the insulation down right now. And then once we get this board to sit flush, we're going to mount it down and then hopefully finish laying the rest of this flooring. I'm also going to have to cut out two pieces to cover over there, but that shouldn't be too hard. Yeah. But yeah, just want to show you guys this before we mount the plywood in. We'll get to you guys when we're mounting. All right, what is good, guys? So when I last left off filming, I'm pretty sure we were going to grab the uh, plywood to finish this area up right here. But we ended up finish finished laying it insulating and started laying the tile uh it's pretty good the reason we didn't finish it all the way out to here is because we're gonna i'm about to test fit the futon and see if i need to extend uh extend this out to here or what i'm gonna do with that these are just freaking extra tiles i had just sitting around uh as far as around these edges and stuff, it looks a little janky, but I still got to go through a cock and seal around all these edges and then build the boxes around these and do the walls and all that, but came out decent, pretty good, as well as I still got to go around the edges and I'm going to use some uh, stair edging to finish them off. This area... It's uh, a little janky right here just because I mounted the wheel chalk first because I thought it would save me some tile to go around it, but I ended up having a shit ton extra, so I'm going to end up unbolting this, redoing all the tile and then shit right here. This tile doesn't matter much because I'm going to build a box that sits over here, but hey yeah, guys, that's pretty much about it. Just wanted to show you guys how it turned out and all the rest of building the floor and stuff. I'll probably start doing into a new video. But this is just part one, I guess. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys want to stay updated and shit, just like and subscribe and just stay tuned. I'll have more videos dropping soon. Thanks for watching.